So I'm here with Sam Appleton and his Giant Trinity Advance Zero bike. Now Sam, tell me, how long have you been riding this? Uh, so I've been riding Giant now for uh, about four years. Yep. Uh, this particular bike I got at the beginning of the year, this is uh, a new, newly remodeled frame that they brought out in 2016. So this is the second year that they've been running this frame. So it, it got a complete overhaul, um, yeah, to be redesigned for to be really fast in the wind tunnel and uh, and out on the road. And so can you talk us just like a little bit in a bit more detail through the bits that, that you like or you've chosen and, and things that you really, yeah, find work on this bike? Yeah, for sure. So um, we'll start at the back here. So. Um, I run Shimano Durace DI2. Um, I've got the uh, Ceramic Speed oversized pulley system here. And How long have you been riding Ceramic Speed? Uh, for about two years now. So okay. uh, yeah, and I find uh, any marginal gains that I can get, you know, at this at this level of the sport, you know, these tiny one percenters, they really count. So everyone's really fit, and you got to try and get those gains where you can. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so yeah, on the back cassette, I'm running Shimano Durace 11.25. So my biggest gear is 11 tooth all the way up to 25. Uh, at the front, it's a 53.39. So uh, a lot of people run 55s. Hey. Um, I prefer the 53 because it's uh, just because I'm a littler guy, yeah. um, I don't really push monster gears. I like to keep my cadence higher. So I find a 53 has always been fine and, for me. And do you change anything like ahead of this comp, there's a decent hill. Do you change your gears at all ahead of a comp ever? Um, ever race? Yeah, if there was a really long, steep hill, I might change up the rear to a 28, 11, yeah. 28 or something. But uh, this course, I did my research and 11, 25 is going to be fine, especially if I've got a 39 at the front as well. So, and so you, my easiest gear will be a 39, 25, which to get up that hill is going to be more than enough. Will you use that gear up that hill, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. It kind of depends how the race is going. Um, but yeah, if, if I need to, I've definitely got that option, which is nice. Onto the hydration now, we've got um, the Aerodynamic Giant drink bottle. So that just slides off like that. It's in the aero shape. How much does that hold? It looks quite small. It is quite small. So that's about 500 milliliters. Okay. Um, so it is a little bit smaller, but the one on the front here, that almost holds a liter. So right. you've got, you know, you you sacrifice a little bit here, but you make oh, up with it with that. Okay. So I find that's been plenty for me for a 70.3. If it's a really hot race, I might throw another drink bottle on here at the back yeah. um, with a drink bottle cage there. So um, yeah, but that sits nice and flush on the frame. So yeah, and then onto the extensions. These are the 51 Speed Shop ski tip extensions with the um, arm cups as well and the pads. So that's um, Matt Steinmetz out of 51 Speed Shop in Boulder. He's coming out with the uh, with the aero bars and the cups and things. So I've been riding these for uh, all this year and yeah. find them really comfortable. Uh, my position's great. Um, yeah, I find it really complements my riding style. Have you changed your position at all with, with setting up with these or? Um, not really, my position's sort of maintained. I, I make small tweaks here and there, but I try not, to, try not to change it around too much. I feel like I've found a position that really works for me. Um, and yeah, I try and, try and keep that uh, as, as close to as possible. I don't really like changing things too much. It sort of messes with my anxiety a little bit. <laughs> Fair enough, cool. Um, talk us through your, your gears and where you've got your Yeah, shifters. so I've, um, I've got the one button system at the front. So um, the extensions, they just change the rear derailleur. Okay. And then if I want to change the front derailleur, that's all on the front here. So, so when I'm in the aero position, that just controls uh, the rear derailleur and the cassette at the back. Onto my onto, wheels. Yeah, onto wheels and tires. So um, I've been riding fast forward wheels now. This is my second year. So this is a 60 mil um, depth on the front and that's a carbon clincher. And the disc is also a carbon clincher as well. Um, and for this race, I'm running the Continental um, GP TT tires. It's a 25 mil rear and a 23 front. So okay. I went a little bit skinnier on the front just um, because that's gonna be breaking the wind. So something a little bit skinnier, a little bit more aerodynamic. Um, and a bit of a wider tire on the back. Uh, the course is a little bit rough, um, so with wider tires, you can get away with running a little bit less pressure. And um, what yeah. pressure do you run? I'll probably run around about 95 to 100. How come you're not going deeper on the front? Um, I've just found the 60 mil is good for all conditions. Um, I don't like it too deep on the front because I feel like with any kind of breeze or crosswind, you do lose quite a bit in keeping the bike straight and yeah. the windier it is the harder it is to hold power if you're trying to control the bike so um, 
I usually run a 60 mil in pretty much all conditions. Um, it's just a good all-round versatile wheel. Um, it can be, yeah, it's aerodynamic, but it's also quite stable and stiff in the crosswinds. Um, what do you carry in your bento box? So I'll put six shots nutrition gels in there. So I've got one in there at the moment. I always have a have one in there handy just in case I bonk or something <laughs> out on a ride. But yeah, I usually put six gels in there. Yep. Um, that's where I get all my calories. My hydration is purely just electrolytes. Um, okay. So the salts and the potassium um, from the hydration and then all my um, calories are from the from the tabs, do you, do you sorry, use, from the gels. Do you use special needs bags at all, or do you have everything? With no, your... everything on my bike. Yeah. I don't like to rely on that. I like to be pretty self-sufficient out there. So, yeah, six gels. I'll probably have one every 20 minutes or so, um, and that's yeah. I've got my Garmin up here, so I keep keep track of the time and things like that. And what do you have on your screen when you're riding? So my screen is cadence, power, heart rate, and time. Final question: What's your favourite sound on your bike? Favourite sound on the bike. Um, I do love the sound of a disc when it's going really fast, especially when you're going downhill and you're clicking the gears and you can hear it kind of clicking down and it's making that sort of helicopter sound. Do you, you want to give us a spin of it? Oh uh, yeah, I can, yeah. <laughs> cool. So yeah. There you go. <laughs> Just for us bike nerds. Great, thanks so much for your time, Sam. Really interesting to see your bike and yeah, really appreciate that. So guys, if you want to subscribe to GTN, just click on the globe. And if you want to watch another pro bike video, there's one on Emma Pallant's bike just here. And if you want to watch a video on how to ride like a pro, click here.